Hi, I'm going to show you what we've done to try and solve the solution of just a low signal in our office. We're partially underground in a basement and as you can see we've only one bar and um, I'm going to increase that hopefully to four bars. This demonstration is on the iPhone 4 um, which is notorious for having a bad antenna signal. I think the 4S is a little bit better. We did the same test on the 3s, iPhone 3s, and in fact got a better signal and um, assume it's just as good on the iPhone 5s. But this should work on any smartphone really that can't take a patch lead, a plug-in patch lead. This is just a passive way of increasing your signal by attaching a patch lead to the outside of the phone. Um, I thought I'd better show you what antenna I've got on the outside first before we go any further. It's just a simple 5 decibel uh, open coil one. That one it goes down cable. It's just a temporary solution into the basement which is underground there. Um, I've tested with a 9 decibel and a 7 decibel and uh, or DB and there was no marked improvement. The smaller one in fact was better. The ideal setup of course would be a Yagi antenna, direction antenna pointed straight at the cell tower, 15 dB gain, so get you your full five bars. And I'm just showing you what signal strength we have outside without any attachment. It's three bars, I hope you can see that. A bit of reflection. The size and type of your antenna depends on your area and your network, your service provider. This is our website. There's a link on our website over to the right there. Under more information it has antenna information. Click on that and it'll bring you up a load of frequently asked questions. Have a read of that or send us an email if you have any doubts as to which one you require. Okay, I'm going to show um, probably three or four solutions. Um, I'm filming this on the iPhone 3GS, so the quality might not be that good. It seems to be zooming in and out of focus. As you can see, only one bar. The first test is going to be with the normal cradle you can put in your car or whatever. The signal improvement wasn't the best in this, even though it's the most expensive and it's probably a bit more awkward to actually hold as a handset to speak into unless you're on hands free but anyway I'm doing this single handedly so it might be a bit of a fiddle around so I'll just place it in and immediately it's gone to three bars it usually takes about 30 seconds to increase and decrease so give it a bit of time but I've noticed with this, if you move it up slightly, you only need to move a few millimetres and you can optimise the signal. I have had it up to four bars in this cradle. But you have to be patient, so I won't fiddle around too much here. Now that's staying on three bars. But I'll take it out again, so you can see it goes back down to... Bar or should do. Again, it takes a bit of time. Yeah, back to one bar. Okay, I'll test another lead. The next one's a passive patch which is held on to it. Actually, it's for modems. But I tried it on the iPhone and it seems to work pretty good. Not as good as the next one, but we'll get to that in a minute. So this is just a Velcro strap that goes round the phone and holds it in place. This is going to be a bit fiddly to do with one hand, so I'll... Um, just show you that there's still one or two bars it 
This is probably the easiest one to attach to a phone, the strap just goes around it and once you get used to where your antenna is on your phone it varies from phone to phone. On the iPhones it appears to be in the bottom because I put it at the top and there was no improvement or little improvement. So you just slide it in, you lose the bottom row of buttons but you don't need those whilst you're using apps or chatting on the phone and as you can see it's gone up to three bars constant. On the iPhone 3 it went up to four bars with this particular patch lead. The next one is more of an antenna than a patch. Um, the same principle of passive induction. Uh, it has a double-sided stick on the back but it also has velcro which you can attach to the phone so you've just got a soft furry bit on the phone however you can just hold it up against the phone and it'll work just as well as this is an antenna you need an adapter to connect to the antenna cable um, which we have on our website just a few dollars as mentioned this patch and the previous one work better on the iPhone 3 and 3GS mainly because they're smaller and the back of the 3GS is curved whereas the iPhone 4 and 5 are, are flat backs the next one I'll show you is, uh, is bigger which fits perfectly on the back of the 4 and the 5 the reason I mention this is because it doesn't work as well on the iPhone 4 it goes up to 3 bars on the iPhone 3's it goes up to 4 bars again moving it around a little bit you might be able to oh there we go you might be able to squeeze 4 bars out of it again it's just trial and error with your particular phone I'll remove the phone to show you it goes back down to 1 or 2 bars the thing is with the phone sitting next to the antenna it's picking up some of the signal there it goes there I'll show you the next one this is a lot larger than the previous one but it's a perfect size one bar perfect size for the iPhone 4 same principle velcro on the back but you just need to hold it onto it and up she goes Again, a little bit of movement and you should be able to get the four bars out of it and constant not in this demonstration though these last two are attached to a thinner cable which makes it a bit easier for handling bit more flexibility no, it's not doing it I'm not sure where the radiator plate is inside the patch on the back so I've turned it upside down so the cables coming out the top and that increases signal so as mentioned a bit of experimenting with your particular phone to find your internal antenna and where it suits with the patch. Gone up to a constant four bars. As I say, I'm probably getting a bit of signal from the patch itself. I'll try and move that out of the way. And it drops back down again slowly. Back down to one bar. In conclusion then, um, going through them one at a time in order, the first one ideal for all iPhones, probably more suited for the iPhone 3 because of the curved back, but um, easy to attach. I think you've got a better signal reception with the iPhone 3. Cradle's obviously ideal for a car or desk mount. We have various mounting options on our website. We sold a lot of these on eBay, but we stopped selling them because we received a few negative feedbacks. People said there's no improvement. If you don't get an improvement, you've got the wrong antenna, the wrong frequency antenna. As you can see, we've just done this with a small 5 decibel antenna on a pole or on a bar outside. It needs to be mounted up high 
as possible on the side of the building facing the cell tower preferably and this one again well this one going back to the cradle was ideal for all phones um, and this one probably better for the iPhone 3 gave a better signal but also good for the 4 and 5 and finally this one's really for the iPhone 4 and 5 because of its size and large flat back and a much better signal improvement all available on our website and as I say if you have any questions go via the FAQ page if not drop us an email thanks for watching